Today's themes come from uh, our work that we did uh, on AB 109, the reentry realignment uh, uh, program, an important issue that impacts obviously our community. And for the last two years, we have spent tireless hours uh, focused on resources and disparities of prisoner reentry and the bearing to residents and stakeholders that it has in our community. Uh, in, a con in a very candid, might my, my, I add, conversation with the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, I came to an understanding that they have $9 billion of budget for procurement purposes. That's goods and services. So my next question when I met with the secretary was how can businesses in our community and, or, and small businesses and community-based organizations be connected to the procurement resources that are available? It's one thing to have resources, but it's also another thing to have those resources connected to businesses in the area that's most impacted by realignment. And well, after that conversation, here we are today, uh, they made a commitment to uh, me and to our community uh, that they will be here, that they will uh, do uh, certification processes right here, get you connected to resources that are available. And they held true to their word. Uh, and as a result, they are all here today connecting businesses to opportunities uh, in our region. So again, let's give them a round of applause today. One of the, the good uh, things I have to share with you is on behalf of my boss, Secretary Beard, uh, and our boss collectively, Governor Brown, uh, the state's looking like it's in a much better fiscal situation. Earlier this month, the governor announced his budget. The fiscal picture is much better. It's going to be much more stable. And a lot of that is due not only to the efforts of my boss, uh, but your legislators, Senator Wright, Assemblymember Hall, the other uh, members of the legislature, who are making different and real decisions that are hard, intractable, intractable problems come to government. If they were easy problems, they would have been solved in the, public, in the uh, private sector. Um, but those legislature, legislators, the governor, are making difficult decisions about how we can operate the state of California. The benefit of that is that the better and more real our fiscal situation is, the better business partner we will be for you. We've had several long-time budgets now. That leaves us in a position of being able to pay our bill. That um, is better for you because we can get them done on time. The other part that I wanted to highlight uh, is one of the major changes in the world of uh, corrections and rehabilitation is public safety realignment, as Assemblymember Hall talked about. What that means for all of you who might partner with us, and we do about $1.5 billion a year in business for contracts and procurement, DGS and other departments do several uh, billion more beyond that, is the uh, Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation is going to continue to run the 33 small cities that we have, where we need everything from uh, construction services to uh, copy or repair to rehabilitated programming and services for offenders uh, that we're trying to um, get back on track. All of that will still exist. In fact, we're opening a 34th uh, prison facility in Stockton. It'll be the, the prison healthcare facility that is coming about as a result of the uh, receiver's office in collaboration with the department. All of that will still exist. We will still run all of those. We, a year ago, announced what we call the blueprint, which outlines the multi-year plan for the department. Um, so all of that is still there. We will still be here to be a business partner with you. So part of the goal here today is to help you all understand how to do business with the state, how to deal um, with small business certification, and take advantage of those state, local, federal reciprocity agreements so that once you're certified, you can not only do business with us at the state level and the 34 prisons that we will run, but you can also do uh, business with counties. I saw in one of the handouts today that if you are certified, you can uh, uh, provide to the state anything from financial audits to jail beds or even shoe repair. Shoe strings, makeup, you name it, they're there for you with resources and financial uh, opportunities made available to you. I also understand that they have added a new program called the Reciprocity Program. 
So if, if you are certified with the state, then the counties and local cities would also accept that one certification for you to also be able uh, to do business uh, with them as well. So today's events uh, are threefold. One, the state of California, the county, and local cities in this particular region. So again, I want to thank you all for being here. I don't want to talk too much. Uh, I believe that business is business and talking is talking. Uh, but talk is cheap, business is real. So we need to get to business.